at the Delaware Famicio Electrical. Today I'm going to be installing this Schneider Lesse Range 2 Gang Weatherproof Switch Socket. I'm going to go through the stages of how I, how I install it step by step for you to watch, okay? You can get exclusive um, content from today's installation on this Instagram page here, okay? Yeah, I've got old Marley to um, run the helmet round here. So now I'm just finishing off because now I know the exact spot, the exact, exact spa um, spot where they want. I think they're going to have two items out here, washing machines, I think, I'm not sure. Washing machines or freezer or something they're having out here. I need to get a level line across there, okay? If you work neatly, it makes things easier. You need a laser level. Marley had the laser level, but I don't know what you've done with it. Stick with me. I don't know. I think, you know, in, um, in the regs book, they, I think they've got certain distance you're supposed to have cleats. The way I do it, I just do it to make, I clip it to make sure there's no great sags. Like, uh, like Marley, he put one there and one there, but to me that was moving in the middle, so I just put an extra one there, an extra one there. I, that, probably that's how he's been taught to do it, not by me, because I haven't done armoured with him. That's what he does on the old building site. But when I looked at it, I thought, no, nah, that doesn't look right, so I put extra ones in the middle. It'll be, it'll be uh, it's going to be hidden anyway, it's behind things, so no one won't see it. But it's always good to practice to work. <laughs> hammer, right? Hammer drill, you know? It's, it's hammers it in. in it, right? All you're supposed to do is keep... Just keep the pressure on. You don't need no great force, to be honest. Um, I've used my, it's a, this is a 5.5 bit for the, for the red raw plugs. Obviously you've got the number six for the brown raw plugs, but that's not needed here. And what I put, look, I don't know if I can show you this, but when, when we bought this from the, the guys went and bought this from the old sailors, um, I, these are, this is two, three core 2.5. So he wanted, um, uh, cleats to fit, but look, these are the cleats that they give, and it's supposed to be the right cleats for it. But look, it's just loads of movement. So when you're running it down, so I had to. I went back and I got some other ones. That I got this size, and they're look, they're a bit tight, but it holds it better. So I mean, if, that, if that's supposed to be the right size for it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe something I don't know, but I, I, as far as I know, it's supposed to hold... Every time I've put up armoured and used um, cleats, they've gripped the cable. Um, so, so I, um... Yeah, this is, to me, that's too loose. So I'm just um, putting the cleats on, and then I'm going to start them off with my, um... Just to start them off, make sure they're in the raw plug properly with my... With my arm um, screwdriver, now I'm just going to use the battery drill to just screw it in properly. But you know, you got to be careful when you when you're using this. Don't want to go. See, I just have it on slow, right? Because you can, because if you you can push it right through here. If you have it too much power on it, it doesn't take much for it to just go right through, and then it's not holding anything. Then you have to redo it. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the armoured off into this box, this metal box. It's three core, so the, the sheathing is not being used, the um, uh, armouring is not being used as the earth. I've got, it, the, the third wire is going to be the earth. So, I, right? So, um, yeah, I'm going to make off into, I could make it off into the socket, but that's plastic, and I don't think it's a good thing making off armoured into plastic. Yeah, for, this is a 4B2 adaptable box. I've, I've got the ones without knockouts, so I drew my own knockouts, and that leaves it sealed properly, okay? And I've got um, some grommets to put on the front of it. 
to prevent any moisture getting in here. Yeah? So that's what we got here. So here's um, the Schneider Lissy range socket, all right? There you are, yeah. It's a nice little unit, yeah. It's very nice. If I put things together like that, I always have a space between them. It's just, I, just, I think it's a good practice. You don't want them, I don't, anyway, even if you put them together like that, it's not good anyway. Um, I don't think to get the covers on, might look better. But no, I think it's always good to space them out a little bit, have a spacer in between. It's always a good, in my, my experience, it's always good practice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut my armored, and then fix the box. I'm gonna make it off in here before I fix the box. Over there, I fixed the box before, and it's, yeah, it's better make, then you got a bit more leeway, okay? So, um, all right. I'm gonna cut it here, leave, leave myself plenty. Uh, yeah, I always leave myself plenty just in case. <laughs> You, if you if you watch my videos, I'm always saying just in case. It's always better to leave a bit to be long than short. This is like that in electrics. You don't want to be joining stuff and that. So anyway, that's more than plenty. This is a um, cable cutter, but I don't know if it'll cut through the armor and everything. I've had bet. Oh yeah, done it. It's good. Beautiful. So that's that. Now this is the gland, the pack, two glands in it. This is um, weatherproof um, glands. It's, these are for outside use, usually. But, I mean, it's a bit brought and braces because you're gonna have this over it anyway. But, I mean, when you, when you tighten it up, it seals it. You see, you've got your thing inside here to seal it properly. And, because a lot of the times you do go, I don't know how it happens. You do go around, you see the either the, Gla the gla the um, shroud, this shroud, mm. off like that, off, not properly on there. So, anyway, I always use those when I use outside. Go outside, okay, cool. What's next? I'm gonna cut the hole in this box. These also are really good, aren't they? Since they've come out, they're really good. Oh yeah, this is a 20 mil. Yeah, because this is 20 mil. That's about center. Right, that needs to go on charge. If, if you wanted to, to fit a 25 mil hole, you drill on that indent but I'm gonna fit a 20 mil, so I'll cut it out. <laughs> I suppose if I'm gonna do a 20, I can move it over to the center, but what I'll do, I'll cut it out. So that's the top, that's how I want it. That's gonna be the top. I could drill it out, but um, it's easy enough to cut out. And um, young sparkies or apprentices out there, mate, when you're using these Stanley knives, it's a nightmare. Just be careful. Always cut, keep it away from yourself. Um, look, you see? See, I was gonna cut like that. Now, that feels uncomfortable. I can see I'm cutting towards myself. So you don't ever wanna do that. Cut, cut away from yourself, yeah? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this one out. Just wanna cut this one out. Cause I wanna make sure I don't go off center. I want to make sure I don't go off centre, but you know, I'm a bit cautious, I don't want to. It's the first time I'm using one of these, I've not come across where they've had the indent off centre like that. Right, there you go. So that's, that's cool. Right, okay, so that's that one. And that's going to be the top as well for this one. So... Again, I'm going to use a knife because they're matching up. I just want to make sure I get it right. Because they're matching up, I don't want to do it slightly off center or just in case I, um, I slip with the drill and don't make it 
match up properly, you know? See, if I had the drill, the art would have been better, like you said. I would have got the proper size hole. Yeah, I should have um, took your advice and drilled it. I call that a socket because that's when, when I was an apprentice, you do conjure socket and bush. That's the bush, this is the socket, but it's a coupler. Because when I said to an apprentice, pass me the socket. <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about. I think you're talking about a, a switch socket. But in my day, you used to, these used to be sockets and bushes. Right, so that's how I've decided to do it. Right, so then you're going to have that there like that, yeah? And another um, socket in between. That's going to be, I now need to um, drill my hole in here. That's how I'm going to have it there. And that's going to come in the sort of side there, yeah? Well, the thing is, you know what I, what my favorite way of doing things is like running a bit of um, trunking underneath and just coming up into that. Linking them together like that um, is not what I usually do, but I think it's fine here, fine it for this, this occasion. Because I don't want to make the armored off into the plastic box. I prefer to make it off into a metal box. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make this cable off first before I um, do anything else. So that's going to be in there like that. So I need to cut my cable about there. Yeah cable about there. I've got this, this is, because usually what you, what I used to do back in the day, I would use my axle, cut round, cut round, cut round and you know, and all that. But now, and then, I used to do that and then what I did, I had a bright idea. I got one of those plumbers, pipe, those things what the, what the plumbers used to cut pipe. Right, you um, screw it up around the armoured and I started using that and that, that worked, but I think it, bl it gets blunt quickly. So, yeah, so I used to use that pipe cut, plumber's pipe cutter to do the ringing of the armoured. And um, then I saw this uh, a few years back, I don't know how long they've been out, it's a small one for, for, for doing this size armoured. <laughs> I saw it on the van the other day, but I lost the blade for it. I've never used it. I bought it, but never used it. Never had the opportunity to use it. And then I saw this version of it, and I bought this one. I've, I've used this before, yeah. I don't know if it's too big for this armoured, but I'm going to try it and see. If I can't use it, then I got my um, trusted um, axle. Right, so. Yeah, I've used this, I think, once. Because <laughs> I don't do a lot of armoured. I wonder if it's too small for, too big for this. Okay. Yeah, this guy, see, it was the underground, it was the extension of, was it the Jubilee line? And they had some massive armors. And the guy made it off, man. I was just watching him. Well, I thought, wicked, I've never done any armor that big. Yeah, 
I don't know. See, I don't even know how deep I'm going, to be honest, so I'll be a bit careful here. Yeah, beautiful, that worked out nice. I haven't gone through the cable. It's a good old tool, that man. Yeah, don't forget to put the old shroud on. <laughs> yeah, this is the shroud, because what you're going to do, you push it over the cable, and then when you've connected, when you've connected this, comes over this, goes over this to, to protect it from the elements, you know? Oh, yeah, all right, okay. Right, okay. Look, so so you put that on. That's I forgot what's this called again? I can't remember what that's called. But that traps the armored onto there. Yeah? Use your axle. Unless you're very accurate with it. What happens was what happens is you see you see how that's you see how that's nice and neat at the end. It's nice and neat. Usually you have one some longer than the other because to go round, to cut round with, the, with, with this, to cut round there in a sort of perfect circle, you, 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 you sometimes, sometimes you don't get it. Armoured, why you use armoured? Because armoured is used for when, when you, um, for outside work like this or when you're doing stuff you don't want damaged. Uh, the armor is pushed over here, yeah, the armor in, yeah? It's pushed over here, and now I'm tightening this down, yeah? Yeah, I'm tightening that down. And now that, that there is squeezing onto the armor, yeah? Can you see that? Do you understand that? A screaming down to the, uh, onto the armoured. So that's why I'm, I've got to use my two grips. This this thing here. Imagine I've that. I was looking for my mum. I got my mould grips actually. Right, that's nice and tight. So, and then once I get into the box, once I get it, get into the. Get all that fixed and that into the box, and I'll tighten this up, and that's gonna gr grip, and the grommet in there is gonna seal around the armored so that no water can't get in, okay? So, yeah, so that's gonna be like that, okay? It's gonna be like that. When you're doing um, conduit work or this armored stuff, I think they, yeah, you got your needle. You got the different tools compared to what when you're just doing ordinary domestic thing. Okay, so yeah, you need to have a lot of tools, mate. It's all electric business. Need a few set of tools, mate. I, I always wind up Marley by using his tools because. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I taught him. Don't let anybody touch your tools. <laughs> so anytime I want, he's on site, I always wind him up and touch him. <laughs> Go and use his tools. Like he had this screwdriver, the um, torque, torque screwdriver. And I had one, but I always wanted to use his one. It was, his one was different to mine. It looked better actually. I've got one of them now. One of the one he's got. Okay, so. Right, so that's it. That's how I'm going to have it. Okay, that's how I'm going to have it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to fit this one first, fix this one first. Actually, I should have took it, I should have put the holes in it before I put them up. Right, so 
but we're going to have to drill the hole. So, yeah, so I'm going to fit this one first, make sure it's nice and level, fit this one next, make sure that's nice and level, then fix this one, and then tighten them all up. Well, tighten them as I go along, yeah? Okay. Always ensure that the um, raw plug is in the wall and not in the box. Yeah, sometimes when you when I come across these people um, have the the um, raw plug sticking out in the in the box or the trunk in they're fixing. When you go to take release and take the trunk off, the raw plug comes out as well. We're nice and level. I just want to make sure that the box is earthed because it's metal. Tighten this part down. I'm just going to, the, the grommet in there is going to grip onto the cable, and that's what gives it its watertight business. That should be okay now. This now should push over this. Right over. But you get the idea, don't you? Yeah? Got my box on, connected the um, armoured and everything. Was going to put the, uh, the, the other two boxes on to, to it, but I uh, made a little bit of an error because I um, connected it, put the bush through and everything, but it wouldn't sit back on the wall properly. This one does because it's further away. You got more free, but this one, this side was against the wall, but this side was away from the wall like that. And that's because I didn't think, what I should have done, I should have offered it up like that, put the box up like that, and then mark where I'm gonna do Because if you look, coming close there, Charles, you can see the gap. The, the holes don't match up. So this is sitting off like that, off the wall when I put it together. I tried to stop it round, but this one's even worse. The gap's even bigger. You can see the gap more there, can't you? Yeah? So I had to rush out, get another box. It's, it, it comes with knockouts and obviously they're standard. The ones that I got, I got without knockouts. I could drill my own hole, but um, that's how it goes. Uh, so now, as you can see, that's going to line up nicely. I can see that without even trying it. So look, that, that's now, that's sweet. That is sweet. Yeah, I'm using a bush banner. They've got different types. This is the, they've got ones that go over the bush. This one, let's go. Right, so that's all good. I'm not gonna tight, because this is going, it's the plastic side. You have to be careful. You don't, it's just gonna get it tight enough, not too tight, okay? That's, that's cool, because you don't want to bow it, warp, warp the thing. Now let me just make sure that this is level. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, dead level. Right, so now I'm going to use the thing, but very gently. When it comes to the last turnings, I'm going to do it with my screwdriver because you don't want to break this plastic. All right, it's easily done. So I can feel when it's tight. When you when you use the electric drill and these type of things, it's easy to break them. Right, so that's, that's cool. See that, mate, mate? Nice and level here. Cool. That's what you're looking for. movement on it. With the um, Schneider Lessie um, weatherproof 
um, double sockets, well, they're weatherproof sockets. Um, you've got the holes already drilled for you in the side so when you you don't have to drill the box so you don't um uh, mess with the integrity of the of the ip66 rating so that's all good it's already it's all good and like i said these knockouts here you have to either cut them out or drill them out they don't just push out so that's a good thing so you won't mess up with the integrity of the ip rating so that's all good i got my boxes fitted Rain didn't help me. <laughs> We're gonna fit the sockets, yeah. And um, with these um, Schneider Lessie twin sockets, they've got their um, right, they click right. So it's just like an ordinary double socket, you've got your two switches. When you, when you put your lead in, it clicks in, right. And to release it, you press one of these, and they both go back that's it yeah and you can keep can keep the plug plugged in while you snap it shut because this allows it yeah and also if you was to fit it in a public place and you wanted it to be secure you, you got the option to fit a padlock there okay so it's all good it's a good thing right so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get my cables ready to connect in and put the socket back yeah Got to be careful because I don't want to go through the cores. I love it when things come out proper. Okay, so that's all good. All good, so now I'm going to use the brown and the grey. Yeah, yeah, but I use the brown on the black. No, I use the brown and the grey because neutral used to be the whole black, used to be the whole neutral. So I'm going to come away from that and use the, my black as my earth. Okay, so I've got a coil of the next size. In fact, I've got loads of big earth sleeving. I've got really big one that is too big for this, which looks silly. But I've seen people put it on that. And then I've got this eat shrink thing. Don't really need to eat shrink it, but might as well see that it's eat shrinking. Right, so that will... I'm going to put blue eat shrink on this one. Right, but over there I've got blue and, blue and green and the earth cable on the van, so I don't need to waste the time and sleeve in doing that. And so that look, see I'm pushing it in. Keep it bra using my knees to brace it. <laughs> Just uh, because loose connections are the bane of this thing. Yeah, there's one thing that I do love, like about the Schneider stuff, they, it does look nice. It's a nice, it's pleasing to the eye, you know? It's nice, nice looking stuff. I've always thought that even before doing this one, you know? They look nice. Right, so that's that lot done. Uh, so I've just um, finished the installation of a Schneider Lessie weatherproof two gang switch Lisse. socket. Lisse. So, Lissy. 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 Yes, I've just um, completed the installation of two Lisse, um, Schneider Lissy weatherproof two gang switch sockets. So, um, Hope you watch me through the process. There's a completed work. It's all good. Um, I haven't livened them up yet. I've got to do a connection over there to liven them up. You can get exclusive um, content from today's installation on this Instagram page here. Okay. 
Nice one, mate.